Quintus Roper with the football. He's got a uh, full house backfield to give to Brinkley. Brinkley is stopped after about a one yard gain and that was all. Uh, coming an eight yard gate at second down and two and uh, they have run the ball well early they have not put it up in the air yet and there they did not run well as they stopped at the line of scrimmage Rodney well Scott comes in with a play it's a third down and a long one and they go back into the wishbone set and the give goes inside to Brinkley and it looks as though he is going to be just a tad short of the first down it really depends on where they spot the football third down and a very short yard here Fake, Roper's got it, the first down, plus more, plus more. He gets across the 40 to the 42. Roper with the good ball. I think would be a passing situation. And again, Gould's be in motion. Maybe the same play. It worked last time. This time, Roper looks the other way, and he's got a receiver. An outstanding catch by Keith Lewis at the 38-yard line, and he goes out of bounds. Anybody, freshman included, will pick you apart with that much time. Again, play-action pass going for the end zone. It is just underthrown slightly. Keith Lewis, again, the intended receiver. Greg Gatson recovered in time. 50 he, this year. This year, he has not missed one from this distance. The kick is up, and he may be now three for four. That one wasn't even close. You know, the ball, I think, is picking up moisture because that kick was... People, but watch the backs out of the backfield too they'll dump the ball occasionally they're gonna try to throw for the first time now rouse is wide open and he blows it intercepted by rice and here we come it is down to the 30 yard line run back the other way by ed freeney the linebacker that pass was right in that was any advantage on the scoreboard and hamrick can give you that hamrick hit uh, two field goals last year that one is low but it should be long enough and it is good so rice scores first with 345 to go in the first period rice leads it by a count of three to nothing last it long they could get somebody loose here but they're all in tight right now and they just decide to get the running going and they do first down and more uh, breaking the ball across is number 32 193 i don't think so no receivers wide the keep by cal Cagney's. he cuts inside the contained man and goes to the 50. he's still running at the 45 the 40 and he may not be caught cal Cagney from the 15 10 and he is caught at about the seven yard line and that was Roy Thompson. Uh, not a passing formation. Cal Cagney looks over the defense. He's still got it. He's going to keep it. He's going to try to turn the corner, and he will be stopped. Oh, they say he went in. Oh, boy, that looked like he bounced in from here, but they're giving him the touchdown. Steve Kidd was right there. But Cal Cagney is given credit for the touchdown from five yards out. Let's, Let's see take a look at it now. Now, if the ball lands, just, all it has to do is get to the goal line before his knee touches the ground. Here's a tremendous angle from our crew. Cal Cagney hit. Now, watch the ball when the knee hits. He's not in. Not in. He no. is not in. The ball should have been spotted about the one-foot line. Touchdown. Cal Cagney came into this game. If you can believe this, here's a quarterback who's in a nice, safe five- or six-yard area and be an easy completion. Ooh. Roper is brought down behind the line of scrimmage as the defense did not go for the fake inside, and Nick Miller was right. tricks to try to get some pressure on the race quarterback. All right, here's the punt from Kidd. And Kidd, one of the top punters in the whole nation statistically, taken down to the 30-yard line by Bobby Joe Edmonds. He's got great speed, and he cuts outside of the 50. The 40, inside Rice territory at about the 38-yard line where he's knocked out of bounds. This guy doesn't play regularly at Arkansas. In fact, Edmonds is way down. And, uh, we have to make our drops a lot deeper this week because they do throw the 20-yarder rather than the 10-yarder. Well... They didn't throw that time. In fact, uh, running for nearly a first down, Cal Cagney has 74 yards rushing already. Second down and one. And the give is good for the first down and more. Missed tackle. Carl Miller moves down inside the 20-yard line. Injury, but six foot, 200 pounder. Second down and 10. Cal Cagney keeps it again, cuts the inside. He may be able to get it down inside the five, and he does with about the three-yard line. William McClay making a stop. He's working it now. He comes straight out. Instead of forcing Cal Cagney, he just left the quarterback alone. That's not his fault. That's the way they're playing it, and bingo, Arkansas is in the zone. Miller from five gets the touchdown. Cal Cagney with 91 yards rushing. They better start minding him as uh, Rice uh, surrenders their second touchdown here, and that makes it 13-3 uh, to three with the extra point coming up. 12.46 to go in the first half of play this is simply a fake and trap they make you think the ball's going to foreman they trap back across the backfield the guard pulls leaves the hole open the rice defender follows him because you touchdowns now they trail it's arkansas 14 rice three on home sports entertainment and roper is going to keep it on the play action he's got the ball up the middle it is 
is incomplete. That was a good defensive play, actually, by the offensive player. Yeah, Scott. Great right the right in team. the Southwest well, Conference. He's a backup player, but that's only because Arkansas has two dynamite linebackers. Probably Joe Edmonds back to receive the kick from Kidd, and he boomed that one. Whoa, did he? Back to the five-yard line. Edmonds will take it from there. And yes, he will, up to about the 26 or 7-yard line where he's dropped. Uh, we don't have to throw much at Arkansas anymore. Centers is now wide, but again, they'll just keep it. Cal Cagney's going to throw this time, and this is what they do. When they throw big yardage, that ball is caught and fumbled and picked up by Steve Kidd at about the 25. Oh, now they're going to say incomplete pass. Oh, incomplete. This went over. And they do say it was a fumble. That was my first impression, certainly, Norm, but it was a fumble. Well, let's see. It worked out of the wishbone 95% of the time here. Of course, it's really that's not that technical. A short gain, maybe a fumble. Let's see. Arkansas thinks there is a fumble. Do the officials think so? Randy Beecham was right on the bottom of that, and boy, the way Arkansas is reacting. But they're going to have to see. There's been some wrestling for that football under there. Well, the Arkansas like offense is up coming on the field, and they're right. They're, they're going to come on the field. Let's see where the fumble comes. That's what he did. Donnie centers wide, way out on the top of the screen, but they're going to try to punch the ball with a power run to the right side, and they're not going to get anywhere. Carl Miller brought down behind the line of scrimmage as we had it out first. Okay, it'll be a 33, 43-yard field goal attempt on fourth down. The kick is up. It is long enough, but it might be yep, good, just over the top of the right upright. And so three more points go on the board for the Arkansas Razorbacks. And with 4.05 to go in the first half, it's Arkansas 17, Rice 3. And you're watching it all right here on Home Sports Entertainment. Again, they stay in the wishbone set, but Goolsby goes in motion. He stays carefully in uh, parallel with the line of scrimmage. Roper puts it in the air. Goolsby turns around, and it's intercepted. Intercepted by Greg Lasker. Lasker up to the 40, out of bounds at about the 46-yard line. That was a perfect play by Lasker. Again, no wishbone set this time. Cal Cagney just drops back on a quick drop. Quarterback draw. He's up the middle for 50. He's across the 50, down to about the 42-yard line in Rice territory. Four yards. And he's not a first or second teamer on this club. Cal Cagney, again the quarterback draw. And again, big yardage up the middle. Again, a first down. And again, even more. He runs himself out of bounds at the 25-yard line. Practice slipping a great deal. Well, let's see. This is a 29-39 off to the right, and that's not going to make it. That one kind of died when it got near down at one. Antonio Brinkley, again, the single running back with wide receivers, three of them on the left side. Roper back to throw, goes up the middle. It's intercepted right there by uh, number 31, David Dudley. Dudley may run it all the way. Roper, the only man, and he can't stop him. It is a touchdown. The pass was thrown right into the arms of uh, David Dudley, who is out of Houston, uh, Hastings High School, actually in the A. Leaf area, 6'3", 196-pound junior, two-year letterman, and I'm sure he has some relatives here that are happy for him. A 49-yard interception return by Dudley. Problem is, Arkansas isn't dumb defensively. They saw the back come back out of the backfield in a short zone, and Dudley, now they call him a linebacker defensive end. Now he's not even 200 pounds, but that's the Arkansas style of player now. Arkansas 24, Rice 3. Norm and I will be back with our halftime thoughts and some halftime activities in just a moment on Home Sports Entertainment. Both of them kicking that rarefied air in the mountains. That's right, he averaged 47 in the oh. first half. Whoop, down he goes. The ball is loose, fire in the hole, as they say, and I think Rice has the football. They do. A big break for the Owls early in the second half. Now, that's how the backs in the wishbone behind Roper. Brinkley on the uh, fake, Roper on the keep, and he keeps it in board as he paid for it at about the 25-yard uh, line. Greg Wells on the left, and again, the delay. This one's gotten some yardage earlier, but Brinkley doesn't get much at all this time. In fact, really no game. Back to the line of scrimmage. Steve Atwater, the stop. A little timing patterns very, very well, and little loop-type passes. Homelander will have a stronger arm. The kick is up, the field goal, and it is good. And so for the second year in a row, uh, this was Sports Entertainment. We hope you stay with us for the remainder of this. Uh, See, this is the double wide out that Arkansas will, will throw from, and the guy with the single is Shebest. And again, it's going to be, he's going to throw it. He wanted to throw it, and he's got the big yardage gain, and there you have it. Right there, James Shebest. And that is in the lineup, number 19. He hadn't carried yet. 
it's going to be a blocker. Cal Cagney on the pass. He's got a man. That's she best. she best has got some speed, a lot of speed. He may take it all the way. Fumbles out of bounds. It'll be a first down in about the 10-yard line for Arkansas. Greg Thomas could play if needed. Kick is up. Good. And it is 27 to 6. We are only one point off of last year's final score. That was played uh, at Arkansas, Little Rock, 27 to 6. Arkansas leads Rice with 3.51 to go in period three right here on HSC. As we see Frank Shepard, the umpire, get the ball out of play, get a dry one in there. I mentioned earlier, first and 10. Overton on the give to Brinkley. Brinkley on those delays has got big yardage, and he's still fighting forward as the muscle runs loose up to the 40-yard line. Get rid of her. Well, I just hope he knows where she is. That's all. Back to throw. Overton's got a man wide open. There you go with Goolsby. Goolsby cuts inside to about the 23-yard line. Greg Lasker making the stop. Five pounds. The doctors say he's just lucky to be alive. And he's playing football. Third down and five. Two out of five for Overton for 31 yards. He has time, not that much. He's got room, and he throws the ball. It is complete, but boom, down went the receiver, Duane Burnett. Old Blue Bell from Brenham. and uh, Yeah, but what are the percentages of getting to the Arkansas 20-yard line three more times today? Well, we'll have and to he missed see the field how that goal. goes. If he doesn't get, no, he got the field oh. goal. <laughs> he angled it just enough. And so it is 27 to 9 with 14 minutes and four seconds to go. I, I, I not, I, obviously I'm not a football coach, but I disagree with this. You got to have three scores to win a football game. What you're saying here is we don't want to win the football game. And again, Cal Cagney keeps the football. He's got the first down. He cuts outside. He's got more. He's going to run out of bounds at about the 47-yard line. Cal Cagney. Thinking of Cal Cagney again with the wishbone formation behind him. He's going to keep it. Cuts inside. He's got about 10 down to about the 30. He's got the first down to the 29-yard line. Cal Cagney. They, they block side saddle. And there's good the kick. kick. It is up, and it is long enough, and it is good. So we now know why he won the kicking job, as we have a 30-9 to score. It is Arkansas leading with 9.44 remaining in the football game. We're at Rice Stadium. Greg Lucas here and Norm Hitzkus. We'll be back with more on Home Sports Entertainment. Pickup of uh, only a yard or two on the play. And again, the... Look yep, out. Keep it. There he goes. First down. Bland gets more. And again, same old thing. Run that. Uh, maybe he didn't know his name there for a minute, uh, the way he was hit. Bland, oop, he may not know it again. As he's dropped back at about the 45-yard line, the tight end isn't really tight. Luther Franklin is split. There's the pitch back. There Let's they pitch. finally pitch. And that's Johnson. Johnson cuts up field. Is knocked out of bounds at about the 33 uh, by his trainer. So it sits the regular kicker from the 40-yard line. 50-yard attempt. Ooh, nice job by Luther's getting a bad snap down, but a Poor kick by trainer. It's not his fault. The bad snap really destroyed the timing of that play. It was behind Luter. Third down and six. Goolsby moves. Going dropping again. Ball Oops. tipped up in the air and incomplete. <laughs> the, the Arkansas player figured that Rice will put the punt block unit on, and they're fairly adept at this stuff. Oh, 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 well, they forced him to not punt it, but again, that was probably a smart play by the uh, the kicker, uh, Todd Jones, got with a screen. Got one back uh, in the backfield, and Burgoyne's going to drop back again. Pretty good coverage. Ball is touchdown, Rice in the end zone, far corner. Picking that one off was a man we were talking about before, Mr. Nixon. Unfortunately, some of the other teams that run it are running it better than uh, Houston. That's what bothers Bill since he invented it. On a reverse, Wells is going to try to get it in, but he's not going to. He's dropped back at the eight-yard line, and Dudley, who had a big game, makes the stop, and that'll do it. The homecoming game for the Rice Owls is finished. It was uh, an entertaining football game, especially for Arkansas fans. They win it and go 7-1. and one. Final score, Arkansas 30, Rice 15. Norman, I'll be back with some final thoughts on home sports entertainment.